Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. As you know, we have a ton of new monsters announced for Monster Hunter World, so I wanted to do a recap video of all the monsters we're aware of up until now. Of course, that's going to increase as time comes closer to release date, but up until now. But I wanted to give you something special, so I wanted to give you the official Japanese pronunciation using my daughter Yuna, and the official English pronunciation which I've confirmed with community manager Sox in the UK. So now, of course, if you guys didn't know, the game is fully voiced in English, so you're going to hear these names in the actual game if you use the English audio instead of the, like, the Monster Hunter gibberish. So there's no more guessing. Like, these are the official pronunciations. Without further ado, let's jump right in, starting with these small monsters. Apseros. Apseros. Apkeros. Apkeros. Aptonoth. 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 <laughs> Gajau. Gajau. Galaiba. Galaiba. Giros. 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 Grimalkin. Grimalkin. Tetoru. Tetoru. Hornator. Hornator. Kantaros. Kantaros. Jagras. 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 Kelby. 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 Kestodon. 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 Mernos. 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 Mosswine. Mosswine. Mos. Mos. Noyos. 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 Rafinos. 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 Vespoid. Vespoid. Langosta. Langosta. Okay, now I want to jump into the large monster names. Now, of course, this number is going to increase as we get more news closer to launch, but here are all the new bad boys that they've released up until now. Anjanath. 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 Baroth. Baroth. Borobolos. Borobolos. Diablos. 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 Great Giros. Great Giros. Dosagiros. Dosagiros. Now one thing to note here is that you'll hear the dos. And that's actually the way that they say great. It doesn't actually mean great in Japanese, but that's the way that they do it for the sort of like mid-tier monsters. So like the great jaggy is actually called the dos jaggy in Japanese. Great Jagras. Great Jagras. Dos Jagras. Dos Jagras. Jurotodus. Jurotodus. This is kind of like Jurassic, right? Jurotodus. 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 Kuluyaku. Kuluyaku. Now you want to underline the ya a little bit here, so it's Kuluyaku. This really reminds me of the Yankuku, who is the bird wyvern. However, I'm not sure if they're actually related. Kuruduyaku. Kuruduyaku. Legiana. 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 Odogarong. Odogarong. Now, the Odogarong is really interesting because if you want to really pay attention, you pronounce the O's with the O sound, not the A sound, which is a very common abbreviation we do in American English is to put an A sound for an O, but this is Odogarong. Just say it as one word, Odogarong. Odogarong. 
Odogaro. Next up, my favorite, Paolumu. <laughs> so cute. Paolumu. 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 Puke puke. Puke puke. Now, <laughs> you people in certain Asian countries stop laughing, okay? I know it means something else in your language. Puke puke. Puke puke. Puke puke. Radoban. Radoban. Dadabaruki. Dadabaruki. Rathalos. Rathalos. Diodes. Diodes. Rathian. Rathian. Now, of course, they're keeping Rathalos and Rathian because in Japanese they say Leoleus and Leolea. So Leo is kind of like the family name. So if you say Rathalos, you actually have to say Rathian. I know I've been guilty of calling it a Rathian in the past, but I'm going to fix my wrong. It's definitely Rathian. Leolea. Leolea. Tobi Kadachi. Tobi Kadachi. Just say this as one word, it's very Japanese. Tobi kadachi. Tobi kadachi. Tobi kadachi. Ziziyaku. Ziziyaku. So for this one, you're going to do a silent T. It's zizi. Ziziyaku. 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 Nergigante. Nergigante. Now for this one, the Nergigante, this is kind of like the Spanish R, where it's not going to be like Nergigante, it's going to be Nergigante, so it's a little bit uh, hit softer. Might be hard for you, some of you who are not used to other languages, but Nergigante or Nergigante, either one is fine. Nergigante. Nergigante. Zora Magdoros. Zora Magdoros. Magdoros is, remember, it's not Magdaras, it's Magdoros. Always pronounce the O's with the O's and the A's with the A's. Zora Magdaros. Zora Magdaros. And actually in the last trailer they showed off two more returning monsters which is Uragan. Uragan. Now Yuna's pretty tired and she didn't want to do it today so I'm going to do the Japanese for you for these monsters but we have Uragankin. Uragankin. And last but not least, Lavasioth. Lavasioth. Borganos. And that's that. So what do you guys think of the monster names? Anyways, let me know down below if there's anything you found interesting in this video. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy hunting. Bonus time. Thank you guys for those of you who are still sticking around. I actually have some fun, interesting stuff I wanted to throw at the end of this video for those who actually listen to all of it. Um, there was a recent interview in the magazine Dengeki PlayStation. Um, it's kind of like a PlayStation magazine where they do articles on games. And they had a huge spread and they talked about the making and the design concept of Monster Hunter World. But then they had this pictures and this slide which talked about the naming of the monsters and some really interesting ones here. So in here they are asking about, you know, how does the team actually come up with names? Is there an actual staff for it? Um, and they said they don't actually have a full staff, but they do work with the localization team, of course, to make sure when they make names globally that they work. Um, for this one, they were talking about Paolumu. So, Paolumu. Um, Pao actually comes from this kanji here, which means to wrap, encase, inflate, uh, puff up, stuff like that. Uh, in Japanese, it's Tsutsumu. Um, but I thought that was really interesting. Uh, for Anjanaf, they said that it actually um, is made up of words from Arabian countries, and it means hidden wings. Which is kind of funny because Anjanath has hidden wings um, that'll puff out when it gets enraged. So very interesting. So here's another fun example. They were talking about Tobi Kagachi, um, which is from Tobu, which means to fly, and the old word for Japanese for snake. Um, but if you just wrote it out in English, um, it's either Tobi Kagati or Tobi Kagachi. Um, but then apparently the localization staff let them know that Kaga. Um, it can actually be a dirty slang word in Italian. I'm not sure what that word is. Let me know in comments if you know. Um, or they could just be recalling it wrong. I don't know. But they said, you know, they customized the spelling of the word, which is how they came up with the English one. Okay, and down here they have some uh, more interesting sort of origins for the names. Some of these I knew, some of these I didn't know, but I find them interesting nonetheless. Uh, first one up, which you guys should know if you watched my video, uh, is Diodeus, which is Rathalos comes from the Greek word for lion, which is Leo, and then the Greek word 
for king, and then you have Leos. Then over here we have Leo Leia, which of course is using Leo again for lion, and then the Greek uh, goddess Rhea, or Rhea, I'm going to say it totally wrong, um, but that's where that name comes from. Diablos, from the Latin word for devil, of course Diablo, um, but D also means two, and it does have two big horns, so they really like that word Diablos. And of course we have Monobros for like the single horn one, and Diablos for the duel. Then we have Boruganosu, which is Lavasioth. Comes from the English uh, word for volcano, of course, volcano. And then the Greek word for shining or to be happy, which is ganos. Very interesting because it's always very shiny with the magma through its body. Um, they even have some more examples up here, like I totally would buy a book. They just published one talking about the naming of the monsters. Um, this is Uragankin, so this is Uragan. Uh, they say it comes from the Italian word Uragano, which means tropical low pressure. And then the German word for chin, or kin, so it's uragankin, very interesting. You have um, boroborosu, which is beroth, uh, comes from the Greek word for mud, which is borboros, so it's actually like just as is. <laughs> they didn't even change it, uh, which is really funny. Uh, aptonosu, which is the apnototh, comes from, uh, they said that the first AB at the top for apnotos comes from Egyptian, uh, meaning the heart. And then the rest, tonos, comes from Greek, meaning uh, sound. Interesting. I wonder why they chose sound. Maybe just because when you throw a rock at it, it goes... <laughs> uh, apkeros, uh, they said was the same thing. The A, B at the top for uh, for heart. And then Greek word for horn, which is seros. Then we have moss, or mosu. Um, this is obviously from the English word moss, which the pig has. It's moss wine in English. Uh, like swine for a pig, moss swine, makes sense. Um, but they just use moss because it's it, it, that's what it looks like, right? And then another last one here, which is Kedubi, of course, Kelby in English. They said that they actually took the uh, word serving, I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure, um, which is a word meaning deer like, and then they sort of you know messed with the pronunciation a little bit and made it Kedubi. So very interesting. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those little tidbits. I thought that was cool that they added this in on in the interview, and I will let you know if they reveal any of the other monster names uh, and what they come from, because I do find them really interesting. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking around for the bonus part, and until next time, happy hunting.